Are you a bird watcher? I'm not really sure what the best way to actually present this place should be. The Newfoundland government, the tourism board in Newfoundland, they do their best. They've put out a good description of the place. I'm actually just going to read the, the website description from NewfoundlandandLabrador.com talking about Cape St. Mary's Ecological Reserve to make sure that I get the actual description out exactly as it's written because it's pretty good but it doesn't tell 10% of the story of what this place actually is. So bear with me, I, I have a point here. Cape St. Mary's Ecological Reserve is a wonderland for bird watchers and explorers alike. No argument here. Thousands of gulls, razorbills, common murres, black-legged kittiwakes, northern gannets, and double-crested and great cormorants nest here. We're 20,000 scoters, long-tailed ducks, harlequin, dove keys, thick-billed murres, and kittiwakes winter. This captivating area is one of seven protected seabird ecological reserves. Its natural beauty makes it perfect for nature walks and family adventures. So let me ask again, are you a bird watcher? I don't know what the best way to, to present this place is because that's not the best way, in my opinion. The beauty of this place is, I, I don't know how to describe it. I have some video here, obviously in this video that I'm showing you to try to demonstrate what the place actually looks like. But everybody knows that pictures don't always do the actual event or location or what you're seeing at that moment it doesn't always do it justice. It's, it's a representation of what's actually happening, what you're seeing, what you're experiencing. But you know, you try to take a photo of fireworks or the moon on a brilliant full moon or whatever, it just doesn't work, right? That's the situation with the Cape St. Mary's Bird Sanctuary, the Ecological Reserve. Came down with my brother. He's ahead of me here now because I was messing with the camera trying to get my settings right because the fog rolled in and kind of became hard to see me. But uh, we were down there before the fog rolled in and it was actually a really, really nice morning and we saw everything, the birds, you'll see it. I'll have the footage spliced into this video obviously, but um, an amazing experience to see all the different birds, the gannets, the kittiwakes. But um, on top of the birds, you got the the cliffs along the path that you walk out on which were probably the nicest coastline I've seen but treacherous this is not something that I would recommend taking kids on this this is a beautiful hike but it's I mean it's not super challenging I don't know if you can see there's rocks and hills there's nothing crazy sheer cliffs you know three feet from the markers that you'll see around so yeah not really an event for little kids to take part in but wow it was it was amazing this is what you can see now so we came at the right time we're leaving at the right time uh, we kind of overshot the road that takes you in here uh, at first coming from placentia driving down um, we are headed toward branch so if you are driving down the road to turn into to get to the bird sanctuary it's really small it's marked well but it's such a small road that we blew past it and by the time we realized that we blew past it we were almost in branch so probably i don't know 10 15 kilometers past <clears throat> so just keep that in mind i remember seeing in some of the reviews before coming here talking about how the road that takes you into the ecological reserve is really bad well I don't know if they were just all really old reviews because uh, the road coming in it's really narrow so if there's any traffic coming towards you you gotta you go really slow and move to the side and you can get two cars through with not much more room than that but in terms of the quality of the road it was <laughs> probably one of the smoothest roads that I've seen in the province so far
It's in its own corner of the Avalon Peninsula. I highly, highly recommend going out of your way to play a visit to this place. So it's kind of like close enough that it's very accessible, but it's far enough away that it takes some effort. And I feel like it's one of those places that people may know about because it is a very special place. And relatively speaking, it has a profile within Newfoundland and Labrador, but I really just don't know how to describe the place any better than the NewfoundlandandLabrador.com description. But at the same time, that description, while 100% accurate, does not do the place justice. You have to see it for yourself. Unbelievable views, unbelievable experience. I'm breathing a little heavy because it's a little bit of a, an incline going back up, but there's an incline coming down as well. So one of those uphill both ways journeys. But uh, here, my brother's way ahead of me, so I'm gonna go catch up with him. Talk to you soon. See you, loves you, bye.